let's get right down to business. Uh, Henry Cejudo put out this video. He had the belts out. He had the dirty diapers. He had the bottles. And then he said he wants the easiest fight. He wants a tune-up fight. He wants the brittle Dominic Cruz. He wants the the Arizona, you know, championship as well as the... Here's the footage. You've seen it all. What did you make of this video from Henry Cejudo? I mean, I was just surprised that he was able to piece together the the sentences in that book. And I think that those are his own personal diaper. So that, that's the only place he could have gotten it. I don't really know what he's doing. I don't think anybody does. I think at this point, people are just laughing at what they don't know is going on. And they're like, what is happening? But they're laughing because nobody knows what's happening. Uh, were you surprised by this call out? Did you think he would call you out? How did you react to the actual substance of what he was saying? Well, I mean, he's acting like he beat a bunch of people that hadn't been beaten before. So that's what I didn't really understand. <laughs> However, the shirt, you know, the shirt that he's wearing, it has my name on it. So um, that's cool. You know, tune up fight. Yeah, I'm going to tune him up. He got it right. He knows I'm going to tune him up. And I'm excited for it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Well, you, you better you, you better start unemployment checks. I'm taking your ass out. Yeah, cool story, Henry. Dominique, you uh, know I'm the real deal. You know I'm coming. You ain't getting past three sh- rounds. Yeah, okay. You're short. I know that. And I know you're going to have a hard time finding me, little and man. You're, and you're, you're going to remember that. You're going to remember that, princess. Okay. We'll see, man. When you're in there missing, you're going to find out real quick the difference and the amount of rounds I got in there over you. I got hours in there over you, little man. You're a wrestler. Okay, sure, I'm about sure, to prove that sure. and expose you real quick. You just try not to break a nail, Princess. You just make sure to make okay. it on May night. Yeah, you coming off the of shoulder surgery too, smart guy. So how are you any more tough than me? You're just coming back from uh, surgery after a year. Uh, Have you ever done that? that? Nope. Because, because I've done I'm it an several Olympic times and I've I'm proved it. Champion. I'm the fastest weight champion of the world, and I am the greatest combat athlete of all time. That's yeah, why. we'll see about that. Yeah, well, there you go flaunting your credentials again, but none of those mean anything because exactly, how do you make a difference exactly. for anybody but yourself? Ben, ben, hey, I had the belt for ten I had the belt for ten years. I've been the I have you the have most a, you only fought two times in ten years, Dominic. I fought a many times in ten years. And I you know what? I have more title fights than you as well. So remember that too. All you gotta do is look at the numbers, Henry. You're catching up still, okay, bro. Well, you you it, could win three you more title fights Prince. and still be catching up. To well, me. you prove it to me, Princess, on May 9th. Because on May 9th, like I said before, I'm serving go. I don't have anything to prove. I'm just going to beat it out of you. You're going to embarrass yourself trying to fight me. I hope so, Princess. That's just that last time against Cody. Yeah, Cody's not you, is he? Can't, I have no power in the past. I power and right I'm, here, right I'm now. Another, and I'm another animal on top of that, Dominic. I'm a whole nother what ha- beast. What, you know what happened with you? What happened with you and Benavides? What happened with you, Demetrius Johnson? You lost to both of them. I haven't lost either of them. That was four years ago. That was four you years ago, Dominic. You lost. That was four years ago. It was three years ago I lost. So there you go. Here you go. If you want to talk about past, there you go for you. I got some proof in why yeah, I'm going to smack you. I came there back, I you. came back and, I, and I beat one of the greatest of all time in Demetrius. And Johnson. I'm about to come back and smash just a little turd who thinks he's better than I he is. You're a 25er you and try. I'm going to prove it. You can try, princess. You can try. Try not to break the nail, Dominic. We heard that already. You keep saying the same thing. Exactly, nerd. exactly. Because you're brittle and you break everything. Did you just come off of the surgery? Does that make you brittle? You're an idiot. Listen to yourself. I'm strong. I'm cock strong. You know, to get to actually fight him would be pretty awesome because, I mean, the things that he's done in the sport, you, you have to tip your hat to in the sport of wrestling. But in the sport of fighting, he's still very green, very new, and extremely soft. I mean, this man has been catered to his entire life because coaches his whole life has seen him as a super athlete. And so they always pull him out of the masses and take care of him and coddle him and baby him. And, you know, he came straight out of high school uh, to the Olympic Training Center to compete in wrestling. So I believe that the reason why people have such a hard time understanding Henry Cejudo is Henry Cejudo doesn't know who he is. Straight out of high school, they locked him away in a room and they threw him on the wrestling mats to win a gold medal. Henry Cejudo is the gold medal. That's all he knows. So that's why you only hear from him is what he's earned. If you take away the gold medal, you take away the UFC belts, 
what would you hear Henry Cejudo say that he is? Who does he make a difference for? And, uh, and why, what's his purpose here? Um, and I think that that's what makes him such a confusing entity to the world is he doesn't know who the heck he is without, without winning uh, in competition. So to go out there and beat that man and, and, and just, just beat him down and explain, explain to the world how confused he is with what real life is, you know, this man really truly believes that the whole world revolves around winning belts and medals. Well, when that's all said and done, what are you going to be? That's the question I have for him. And after I beat him down, he's going to be in that question for, for a good period of time. Well, we don't know who he is because he won't let that out. That's why he's so cringy. The cringe is to hide who he doesn't know how to be, which is himself. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> This is inc- is this has this been a fight? It's a, it, it's a very easy way. It's a very easy way for him to hide because you can make everything a joke and everything's not real and everything's, you know, oh I'm the best. Oh bend the knees so you can look me in the eyes. Like nobody wants to bend the knees so they can make eye contact with you, Henry. You know the thing is you got to understand that that whole persona, that whole WWE thing, is much easier for him than being an authentic human being. It's much easier than him being Henry Cejudo. And the reason is he doesn't even know who he is. It's a fact. He just has no clue. He's been locked in the wrestling room his whole life. He has no people skills. Um, and he's a very confused kid. First of all, I think I know I'm going to beat Dominic. I truly, sincerely believe that and know that. My plan is not to beat him. My plan is to stop this dude. It's to stop everybody that's in front of me. Like, I'm not, I'm not out there no more to just win by decision. I'm out there to put people... I'm not, I'm not there to put people out. So the more I continue to keep doing that, you know, the more people understand that, hey, man, this dude is, is, is there's just no denying. You know, so in the past, you went to win by decision? They don't have You wanted to win by decision in the past? They don't have a Michael Jordan. That's what you sound like. They don't have a Michael Jordan of MMA. And I'm, look, I, I'm not me. looking to do that. I'm because the Michael the Jordan of 135. I'm knocking people out, and, uh, and that's it. And Dominic, ha- Dominic happens to be in my way. And I'm getting ready to execute him. I got, I got to, you got a picture of me with him and Masvidal. And what happened is I was walking through the hallways and Masvidal is hanging out with Henry. <clears throat> excuse me. And he goes, hey, hey, I got to get a picture with you guys. And so he, I'm like kind of thrown off and I'm like, okay. And so we walk up and I take a picture and that gets posted. But uh, it really just, you know. He told me in that moment, I was like, oh, how you feeling, man? I heard you had shoulder surgery. I saw it blow out when he did it. And he said, yeah, you know, I probably want to want to have a Christmas and be with my family and my kids. I said, well, I don't really give a shit about Christmas. So how about we fight on Christmas? <laughs> um, and he said, no, I, I want to be with my family and just and, and have that time. And I was like, well, OK, well, if you change your mind and you want to um, talk about the things that that matter, like, like fighting me, let's do it. I said, I ain't leaving. After I beat up Dominique, I said, I'm going to be stomping on Jose Baldo's toes next. And then after that, Alex- Alexander Volkanovsky, that overgrown midget, he's next. See, that's, that's the best he can do with his platform. You hear that? What a, it's so useless. Sorry exactly, for you guys. Exactly, exactly, Dominic, exactly. Come on, you man. Will be you, part you're of just that better, bro. You're you're better. Shut than, up. You're better Shut, than the stop trying to be you're, Miss Universe silly. Princess. I'm being you're here silly, for man. purpose. I'm here. You better sign up for unemployment. What is your? Why are you here? Why are you doing this? Why am I here? Belt? Because I am here. Because What's your purpose I am here in to this? be the greatest of all time. That's why, Dominic. And then what? To knock your ass out. What That's is, why. And then to what? Knock you out. And, and then what? Then when it's all over and you're retired. Then when you're all retired, you're just going to have your belt. And then just keep knocking everybody it. out. That's it. That's it, Dominic. I'm, dude, you're like a – I swear to you, man. You're like uh dude, you should try out for a pageant. I swear to you. Because your acts just prove nothing. Henry knows I'm the guy to beat. If you don't beat me, you can't be the champion in the division. I'm the longest standing champion at 135 pounds. Um, and – the things, the people that I beat speaks for itself. Now, you want to say, yes, he's been hurt. Yes, this, yes, that. I mean, everybody gets hurt in this sport. If anything, like he said, that should make it an easier fight for him, shouldn't it? But that's what TJ Dillashaw thought too. So while he's a great fighter and that's what we're talking about, as a human, he's soft. And I plan to break the human being before he gets in there to fight who I am.
Yeah, you just show it to him. <laughs> 